Uh, I thought I heard something. Was it my imagination? Now I'm pretty sure I heard it from this direction. Again. Hmm, female voices? Well, where is it coming from? One hour later. Hmm, things have definitely started to pick up in Tifo. Bosses are getting tougher, louder, and out of control. I've got a very decent rework myself, I must say. Decent enough to beat all of the Lovinia Plus content all day. And... Ah! Dark! Did you hear? Did you hear? The OP OP! Oh, what is it? Have you no manners? Can't you see I'm fantasizing and admiring my own powers? Hmm, I'm not sure about if there's anything fascinating about your power to admire too. But anyway, I was gonna say, how dare you? This is how you work! My LDOP just got it out! Oh, uh, <laughs> that's so marvelous! Truth be told, you finally get the wealth of LD and BT was actually my daring in all seriousness. Saying this is your doing all along? It was you who made it possible for me to have my own BT? <laughs> who do you make me fool now? If it wasn't for me, you might end up working at In and Out! In, in, in and Out? What's, what's that? Well, anyway, I'm spreading this good news to everyone! See you around, Doc! I hated you! One hour later. Well, 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 what do we have here? You of all people decide to show up within my size just so that I can make you fear. I, uh, heard from Persh that you gave her a BT. Hmm, that little rascal is indeed fast and spreading. Could you make me the next BT candidate? Are you, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back and thank you all so much for tuning back into my channel. Apologies for the really late video today. Wow, it's been about almost three weeks since we last had our Ope Ope video. Well, before we proceed to talk more Defo content, again, I would like to give a big shout out to Leo Bob and Zeta Kai for the really prompt translation that they've posted in Discord, which I will be reading up from. So without further ado, let's proceed to talk more Defo content. So, Prish is the next LD and BT candidate. Both her weapons will drop on the upcoming Divine Bahamut event which is in about a few hours time. So let's talk about what her LD does and boy you do not want to miss out on what her LD does. So her LD ability is called 100 Fists which is a melee brave plus HP attack and then it runs her above called 100 Fists which is the same name as her LD ability. And her LD buff gives own stats up and okay, okay, get this. Adds an additional plus one brave hits for each brave hit, which means if she has an ability that has a six hit brave attack, it becomes 12 hit brave attack. Yes, potentially doubling all of a brave hit count. So here is an example shown here with and without the LD buff. Look at the damage difference. That's double the damage difference. So is it good? Well, imagine pairing her with Leo LD and Snow's BT effect. Oh yeah! Now for her BT weapon. It gives her an ability called Dawn, which is an melee brave plus single target HP attack. And her BT effect grants party stats up, 
Grant's party all additional plus one hit, which is literally her sharing her LD buff with all of her party members. Oh my god, again, imagine pairing her with Leo and Snow. And this will be Prish's alternate costume. Now, I've never played the CDR 012, so I'm not sure if I recognize where is that outfit from. But hey, to all the Precious fans, I'm happy that she is finally getting some love. Not only that, she is also getting a rework as well. Next up, Yuna's BT will finally be able to realize to the plus variant on Divine Bahamut as well. Well, I've got nothing much to say about her since I only own her LD, but hey, at least she's also getting a rework along with Prish. Next up, Lulu's LD will be dropping soon as well, with about 5 days apart and we will finally have all Final Fantasy X cast with all their LDs. <laughs> yeah, all Final Fantasy X cast. So her LD ability is called Double Flare Fury, which is an AoE Magic Brave plus AoE HP attack multiple times. And then it grants 5 stacks of Dawn Master's buffs immediately. Good, so now she's able to immediately give Fire Enchant to the party. So Dawn Master will also now attach Fire Element to any other element attacks, meaning if she grants Dawn Master to Redia and Ash, Redia's attack will now have both fire and water attack since Redia is a water enchanter and Ash will now have holy, thunder and fire attached to all of her attack as well if I'm reading that correctly which I think that's what it says. So a pretty useful LD ability I must say since we do not have a lot of fire enchanter in the game. Next up, Size will be arriving into the default realm. Finally, the final cast of class Type 0. I know there are a lot of Type 0 fans, but as of now, we still do not have much details about her kit, unlike Cisne. As of now, we only know she is a unique weapon type user and a Black Crystal unit. Not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty excited on what she brings on the table since I personally am a big fan of sight weapons. Alright, so we're done with weapons. Let's move on to some other in-game and quality of life updates. First up, we finally, finally have a quality of life update for both buff icons and debuffed icons. Finally, as a player who is really, really bad at managing buffs and debuffs, this is just... Mwah. So let's go over quickly on how the new icons look like. Now, the icons are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna briefly go through all of them. These few buffs are related to attack, defense, speed, dodge. The ribbon thingy here means weakness dodge, which translates to debuff evasion. And the last two is brave and critical related buff. Now for debuffs, again, pretty self-explanatory. Here it means HP damage related, blind, HP silence, and doom. Yep, so that's about it for the icons. Next up, we have Edge's Intertwined Will event for the month of October. Yeah, he's the only intertwined wheel unit for October, probably because Shalk is getting her lost chapter on October as well. Not much info has been shared yet, so we'll probably have to wait for the next OP OP announcement. Alright, so the highlight of today's update, the list of units getting reworked and their Crystal Level 90, most probably. So first up, we have Celeste, Yuna, Prish and Fran all fall on the same date which is the event for Divine Bahamut. Shalk and Lulu, which is dropping on Shalk's lost chapter. Lan and Rain on the 8th, which is the date where Size will be released. Neo BT and Returning BT on the 30th, which most probably will be Transcendence 9. Wait, October 13th? Now, we're only left with Vincent's and Realm's LD. Hmm. Hmm. I'm calling it sus. Campaign Gacha unit and Kate shit on the 15th. H and Garnet on H's intertwines will. Nice, Garnet is finally getting her crystal level 90. And Garnet is also Thunder Enchant. <sighs> oh well, no use speculating. Jogron and King on the 22nd, which we have no idea what that event is yet. 
So that is it. What do you guys think of today's announcement? Anyone excited for Preach, LD and BT? Anyone excited for Size? Anyone excited for the buffs and debuffs quality of life? So before we close off this video, I just want to thank every single one of you guys who have been watching me making all of this content overview updates on a monthly basis. And I've been doing this for exactly a year already. Yup, today is the quote unquote one year anniversary of me doing this content overview which looking back uh i can't stand my voice which looking back i myself cannot believe that i have made 24 videos including this one now of course 24 videos might not seem a lot to some of you all but it's a lot for me personally and yeah a year just flew by in an instant us leaving and adapting to the pandemic <sighs> Anyway, so for anyone that is curious, the Vayne BT Plus announcement video was the first where I started with all of these cursed intro videos. And I apologize if you can't stand them, especially my lousy voice acting. So again, I want to thank everyone for the continuous support over this one year of me making content. Don't worry. I'm not exactly burnt out yet on making these videos. So that's it. Just thought that I should share my journey and my experience with you guys. So this is it. I wish everyone good luck on their pools. Stay safe and healthy. And until the next video, bye bye. <laughs>